Alright guys, today we're going to go over how to rig a low poly model gun, okay? Uh, this will work on a high poly gun as well, but you basically want to rig a low poly because it's easier to maneuver because you're not working with so many vertices and it, uh, it'll run smoother in Blender. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create your vertex groups. Vertex groups can be found right here, so... Um, this is where it is. So we're just gonna add vertex groups with your item selected. And so I'm gonna name them handle trigger and base. And you don't have to name them the exact same thing that I named them. I'm just naming these as easy ways for me to remember the different groups. Base is going to be most of the gun. Trigger is going to be just a trigger by itself. And then handle is for this piece um, that you use when you're uh, reloading the rifle. I'm just naming it handle because I don't remember the proper name for it. But uh, you need to make a name for every piece that you're going to be rigging. Okay, so... Uh, moving forward, let me just um, change my view. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we have to assign vertices to these groups. Uh, this is all going to make sense later. This is the easiest, fastest way that I know of to rig a gun. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is basically pick any vertice. Um, let's start with this trigger. I'm going to pick a vertice in this trigger and then hold control L. Okay? Control L selects all the vertices that were in the original object that was created before it was combined with the rest of this model. So, uh if you're working with um an object that was not created in individual parts, if it was all created as one object, this is not going to be as easy, but you can still manually select all the vertices that are part of the trigger. Okay, so in my case, I'm just going to basically pick any vertice, control L, it selects all of them. I'm going to click on trigger over here in my uh, vertex group, and then click assign. And that's it. So now if I deselect, it will deselect it. And when I click select, when I have this uh, selected, it'll select all the trigger vertices and deselect base I don't have anything assigned to it so when I click select here nothing happens but trigger you'll see that all of the vertices are selected okay so we're gonna do the same thing for the other groups so I'm gonna go to the handle next actually first let me deselect this we'll go to handle and the handle is positioned in a spot where it's a little hard to reach so I'm gonna use I'm gonna select this edge and then control L and then my handle is actually made in several parts, so I'm going to have to do this several times. So I'm going to hold Shift, select another vertice, and then Control L. Hold Shift, select this vertice, Control L. Hold Shift, this one, Control L. And by now you should see a, a pattern. You see what I'm doing? I'm just basically selecting all of the vertices that are part of this object that I want to animate. I'm going to make sure that handle is selected over here in my vertex groups and then click assign. Okay, so if I deselect, uh, they all get deselected and now they're selected. If I come over here to trigger, I can select it also. I can deselect everything here and have only the trigger. And uh, we just have one more piece to do now, in my case. In your case, you might want to to uh, depending on the gun that you're animating you might have to use more than one um, more than three different vertex groups okay so now I'm going to basically select a vertice control L and then I'm going to use I want to include the barrel oh my gosh Control Z to go back if that ever happens to you, and then you hold Shift to select that, and then Control L. So the main point is that you select all of the vertices that you want to animate together. And then for this part, I'm just going to basically 
select x-ray mode up here and then grab all of these together to make sure that they're all selected and then I'm going to basically hold shift and select control L for that okay so I have everything selected oh except for this I'm going to show you something look I'm going to leave it deselected for now so that I can show you what happens later if you make this mistake okay but basically you want to select everything okay so I'm going to go ahead and click assign and make sure that the correct uh, vertex group is is selected and then I click assign okay so now everything appears to be working fine see select and then I can select only my handle if I want okay so the vertex groups are created the next step is to actually start creating your um, your amateur armature so deselect everything shift a holding shift a will bring up this menu you click armature and then I'm gonna tab into edit mode see over here it says edit mode now and I'm basically gonna just uh, select this armature and move it over here and I'm gonna use this one as my base oh one more thing to see everything easier you can click over here uh, and um, go to viewport display and then click in front if you could remember viewport uh, display and in front this is gonna come in handy a lot if you continue using blender for different things so the earlier you memorize that the better okay but you'll probably memorize it naturally just from making so many models but so viewport display in front is very handy okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and select everything while I'm still in edit mode hold shift D to duplicate I'm gonna go ahead and move this around here and this is gonna be my armature bone for the handle I'm gonna push 7 to, to, to see the top view and align this with the rest of the gun and push 3 to go back to your side view. The different views are are easy. You'll, you're going to naturally memorize those, but 1, 3, and 7 are your main different. See, 1, 3, and 7. Those are the main three. One is for the front, 3 sides, 7 top. Those are the main views that you're going to be using all the time in Blender. Okay, so I'm going to select this um, bone hold shift select the other armature bone you're gonna push control P and it's keep offset if you don't see the same menu come up like that you might not be in edit mode so make sure in edit mode you're gonna select the bone um, that's not the base first and then hold shift and then select the bone that is the base and once you do this properly you'll see this kind of dotted line connecting the two alright so now that that's done uh, I'm gonna make my final bone and, and I'm just basically gonna select this one hold shift D move this down and kind of reposition this and since I selected the bone that was already a child of the base which is the parent the base is the parent I didn't have to parent it again if you don't do that you just have to parent it so basically at the end you want to make sure all of your bones have that dotted line going to the base bone okay uh, if you're getting confused about this go ahead and leave any questions in the comment section I'll do my best to help you out okay so uh, let me just hit seven real quick to make sure that trigger bone is aligned okay it looks looks pretty good it doesn't have to be perfect to be honest because of the way that we're going to be setting up this this uh, rig it th the bones don't have to be aligned perfectly so you'll see what I mean in a second so the next step is to name all of these bones so we're going to select the armature and tab into edit mode okay once you're in edit mode select these bones one by one and then click over here uh, where and this little bone here where you can name the bones and you need to name them to match the exact 
vertice group that you named earlier. So in this case, I named the base vertice group base, and so I'm going to name this bone base. Okay, uh, let's click over on this one. This For this one, I named this vertice group handle, so I'm going to call this handle because I want this bone to control all of the vertices that are part of that group that I named handle. This one's going to be named trigger. All right. So in my case, I've got the three bones. They're named the same as my vertice groups on this on a uh, on this one. See, my vertice groups are handle, trigger, and base. And then if I come back over here, these are named. Uh, let me click on the bone. Base, handle, and trigger. And if you name them exactly the same, it's going to make your life way easier because of what I'm going to do next. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and select your your um select the gun model in object mode and then hold shift and then select your armature. Okay, after that, it's control P. And this part's very important. Normally, you go with automatic weights, and that's if you're um rigging almost anything else. But for guns, you need to collect empty groups because with guns, we're going to be moving things in a way that, that you normally wouldn't move like a living creature or anything like that. This is a, a different. So, so now that you did that, if you did everything else correctly, you can select um, your gun and your armature. Go to pose mode. You should be able to move just the pieces you want. See how the handle's moving? Um, if you want to move just your trigger, you can move like that. It, when you're animating, you can kind of turn it like this also, you know. Um, but see how when I select a bone, only the parts that I want moved? This one is supposed to move everything, but because of that mistake I made earlier on purpose, um, this happened. So if this happens to you that part of your armature is not uh, moving the way you wanted it to, like in my case, um, I didn't include this in my vertex group, right? So this is just kind of made part of the design. So, so what I'm going to do is I can fix that easily by going into object mode, selecting my gun, tab into edit mode. Okay, so I'm going to click over here in my vertex group and go to base and then select. So now everything that I had as part of that vertex group is selected and I just want to include this also. So I'm going to hold shift and then select one of the vertices, control L. So that selects everything that I didn't have before and then I'm just going to click I'm just going to click assign. All right, so that should do it. So now I click tab to go back into object mode. I'm going to hold uh, shift and select my armature. Go into pose mode. And now when I uh, move this bone, everything moves together. See? All right, so at this point, your gun is fully rigged and really ready to be animated. Look, I would appreciate every single subscriber and um, comment that's left. If, if you enjoyed this video it, and it helped you out, at least just hit like and and tell me thank you in the comments or some kind of suggestion that would help me make better videos. Comment whatever you want, dude. <laughs> uh, well, thank you and I'll see you all next time.